Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today I'm gonna show you how to install Open Media Vault on your new server or any machine really. Even though I'm going to use a Proxmox server, you can actually install it on bare metal as well. I'm gonna show you step by step and without any delay, let's start it. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you get notified for my future videos and the first thing i'm going to do i'm going back to media vault i'm going to download and i'm going to download the latest public um, iso i'm going to click here and here you can actually see which version you want you can have a single board and you can get the latest version 5511 and this is the one i'm going to download for this tutorial i'm going to click on save it shouldn't take really long. We are downloading around 2.7 megabytes per second. So the actual file has been downloaded. It did take a little bit of time. Again, sometimes, you know, some repository are not as fast as it could be. Just to show you, like, you know, uh, it was downloading about 2.7 megabit per second. I mean, even if you got fast internet like I do, I mean, as you can see, I got 560 at the moment, 570. I can go up to, I think this is, the one I got is one gigabit uh, download speed. And at the moment, it's 590 or 490, whatever. But again, it doesn't really matter, guys. It doesn't matter what you have. Some server are not as fast as, as you can see here. But anyway, let's go back on Proxmox. I'm going to create my server before I'm going to start the installation. So the first thing, by the way, you want to do, you want to create a USB stick. I used Balena Etching or Balena Etcher. It is the free version, the one I'm using. And you can download the latest version here, okay? Make sure you got at least, I believe, two gig of um, USB two gig space. That's you know that's more than enough, I think. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to prepare the server and I'm going to insert the USB pen that I just create, you know, uh, created with the Balena Etcher. All right, so I'm going to start the machine, and here we go to the Open Media Vault installation. You got three options here. I'm going to click on that. The first option, I'm going to choose English. United Kingdom for me, British English. All right, now we got the host name. I'm going to leave it as it is. Open Media Vault. I'm going to press continue. Domain, I'm going to leave it local. If you got a domain you want to attach to a, uh, if you got a domain name, it's up to you. Again, you can add it here i'm going to leave it local as i'm not going to use it at home and on my own network so i'm going to press continue now i'm going to put the root password and i'm going to press continue i'm going to retype the same password For my home lab, I attach the Open Media Vault to a Synology that is running four drives, four terabyte each. But for this one, we will use just a hundred gig allocated space just for the demonstration. But again, you can attach any storage and you can actually add on any computer that you want to add it to or any machine that has multiple hard disks if you wanted to. Now I'm going to configure the package manager. I'm going to choose United Kingdom. That's where I am. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to choose Debian. There is no HTTP proxy uh, for this. I'm going to go and just leave it blank and press continue. All right, now you got to install the grab bootloader and you can do it manually or you can actually choose this one here. And that's exactly what I'm going to choose now. Again, you will choose your hard disk, the one you install in the Open Media Vault on. And as you can see, the installation is complete. I'm going to press continue and restart the machine again. All right, so as you can see, that has been restarted. We have the IPs, and this is how you're going to access your server. Now, the default is admin and the password Open Media Vault, and you should change as soon as you do the first login.
all right so let's go out here and let's go and do it now the ip looks different i'm going for a proxy at the moment so this is what it looks like so again to access it you're going to put admin and open media vault there we go uh, we are inside the open media vault i'm going out to save the password all right so the first thing we're going to do now we're going to start and change the password you go to the system general settings web administrator password and here you're going to add the new password and you need to confirm it twice and i'm going to click save job done now to make sure it works you can log out if you wanted to say yes and we're going to log in again and as you can see the new password works right as you can see here from the main panel the ssh is enabled all other services are not enabled or running the system information uh, you can change the host name if you wanted to you can change the language this is the host name just in case you need to know the cpu usage and the memory usage up to two gigabyte allocation that i gave to the container all right i'm running this one through proxmox as you can see here is the kvm right if i press on the home i'm gonna get all the icons of all the services those are the services ftp nfs rsync summer and ssh as you know ssh is already being enabled if i go back ftp if i want to enable it all i gotta do is press this and again don't forget to save this is the ports maximum for example connection per host and as you can see here the configuration has been changed you must apply the changes again every time click on the apply on top to make sure the configurations are being applied now you do this with all the services you want to uh, enable go back here or oh, i should have gone back to services nfs again you press this and you enable with shares as well you can actually add share folder the client privileges and so on and so forth all right again i'm gonna press save again if it asks you you're gonna press apply and i'm gonna show you the entire process on the enable all the services i might do uh, in the future some other um tutorials on how to use uh, open media vault go back on this one i'm going to go on summer save and apply here we got the users where you can actually add more users again i usually do my own groups but here you got some already made groups as you can see here all right and again if you want to make your own groups just add the groups and you can add the members okay again we got the services as you can see the one i enabled and running you can enable ssl tls connections if you needed to you can have a ban list and you also got shares you press that one here and you select the folder if there is any you can create as many folders as you want again you got power management you got monitoring you got notifications you got network you can create interfaces if you want to as you can see here you can add ethernet wi-fi you can bond you can bridge you can do a lot of things here and also you get a kind of a firewall pretty good it works on both ip4 and ip6 if you got them i run on both and again here you got more information now i don't go too much in details um but before i close this down here i'm going on discs as you can so, uh, see here we got 100 gig disk here where you can actually add more information you can edit if you wanted to you can um, enable the power management acoustic management spin down whatever again this is kvm so it really doesn't really apply this is the um, dvd rom uh, in this case it will be the usb that i have attached to the machine with the opium media vault i haven't um ejected that so if i ejected that will disappear okay 
Now if you go multiple disk, you can create a RAID as well. Just press on create, choose the name, choose the device. Again, here I do not have any devices, only one hard drive. And then you got different type of uh, file systems and you, you can do everything you need. You can mount, unmount, whatever. You got scheduled job, you got certificates. If you want to add SSL certificate, for example, and this is pre-made by, uh, I think it's a self, a self signed certificate. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me for this small tutorial on how to install open media vault. I look, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified my from you know for my future uh, tutorials. And again, guys, I'll see you next time.